We gotta celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Hope you're all wearing your green or I'm gonna pinch you. Isn't that the rule? Isn't that, I, I, I think it is a pinch, a pinch if you're not wearing green. So I am draped, I am draped in green. How's that for you all? Welcome to Beyond the Camera. Oh, I suppose I should take the music off. You know what? I should have found music that was St. Patrick's Day, like an Irish thing. Dang it. All right, welcome to Beyond the Camera. I am your host, Jamie Hain, and I'm all about getting you on camera and helping you um, get good on video so that you grow your business. But growing your business is way more than just video. And so the purpose of this show is to bring on guests that have expertise in other areas beyond the camera, thus the name, Beyond the Camera. So they're here to share their expertise and help you grow your business. I'm super excited about today's guest. And before we started, I learned that she is Irish. I do not have any Irish in me. So I feel like we at least we've represented Irish by having at least somebody on this show today that has some Irish blood in them. So Tammy Shrin is going to be on. She is the co-founder of Book Hackers, which we're going to find out all about. And we are going to talk about how three ways that you can get your book published. We're talking about self-publishing on Amazon. I know is one of those things. So please join me in welcoming Tammy to the show. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I love and it. And you know, I see you had an Irish sweatshirt on too. Yep. I'm the shenanigans mm -hmm. coordinator. Yes, so are. be That's prepared, what... everybody. It's 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 a lucky day. It's that a is a lucky day. day. <laughs> Forget the we're, let's just talk about St. Patrick's Day and not talk about no one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why are we here? Oh, what are we doing? What let's have some fun with this. Okay. So yeah. uh do me a favor, uh, introduce yourself to the people. What what who are you? What do you do? All right. So my name is Tammy Crin, and I Oh my gosh, I've been saying your name wrong all this time. Okay, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's why we love you, Jamie. <laughs> No, it, we it's have been we have known each other for what four years, something like that. Yeah, and I have been saying your name wrong for four years. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay, say the it again. The... So I'm Tammy Crin and um, <laughs> C H R I N, <laughs> and I uh, am a self publisher entrepreneur, and I've been doing that since 2018. It's fine, Jamie. It's only I'm a name. hot now. I'm hot. Oh. Keep going. I'm okay. <laughs> And um, I've been a self-publisher since 2018, and, and I call myself a self-publishing entrepreneur. And now I share this whole world with audiences like yourself, because I know a lot of people who love to have book ideas, and they wow. want to write a book, but they don't know how to do it. So um, when, uh, thank you for inviting me. Yes. And thank you, everybody in the audience that's listening today, and, and I hope well, I know this will give you such great insight. And if you ever had that little inkling, I, I, I know when I found out about self-publishing, I was like, what? So this is going to be exciting for me to share with you. And I mean, most people that I talk to, it's like a dream. I, like mm -hmm. someday, like someday, whenever that is, someday I'm going to write a book. But they don't know the first thing about how to do it, what to do, what kind of books. And that's that's what we're going to unpack today. Yep. I love That's this. What we're doing. I love it. I love it. Now yes. you and I met, um, like I said, years ago, um, you took my go live challenge, right? Isn't did, that how yes. it is? Yes. Yes. Um, and then of course we connected and, and we've now become collaborators. You are part of the go live league. You're part of the membership. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it so much. So, um, t let's start with, let's talk about video first and then we'll get to book publishing. Okay. Because you took my challenge. Now it was, it was one of the early ones. Yes. What, how has video made a difference in your business? How, how do you use it? How, how has it impacted your business? Yeah. So I, this is such an easy question for me because videos have been so instrumental in growing my business after I've taken, I mean, I did not get on video. I, I did my first video probably right before I met you. And I was, my hand was shaking, touching the button and <laughs> talking to this black hole. Yep. And then I, I found out about you and that was just the beginning of being able to, to create videos like this. So it has been hugely instrumental in my business. So I can talk about my books, products, and how, um, like how to tutorials on video. And it can introduce all that to my customers and all the services that I have. And video has allowed me to reach like the whole new audience because people like that connection. And the videos have um, just worked really well with increasing my engagement and also with keeping in touch with my existing clients. Yeah. 
you know, my existing customers. And I've noticed a huge um, increase in traffic and in, in converging into converting into sales by using video because they know, like, and trust you. They begin to, they begin to hear your story. It's like the crazy woman who's wearing a hat, yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, <laughs> with, with pigtails that are only this long. Like, <laughs> I yeah. love it. I so, love it because, um, I mean, you couldn't you couldn't take a picture of yourself with that hat on, and it have the same reach as as going live and talking about it. Okay, maybe that's not maybe that's not true. The, the but if I said oh, I'm wearing a green hat with some pigtails to describe it, wouldn't be the wouldn't impact. Wouldn't be the same. It. Yeah, that's yes. a good, that's a much better description. Yeah. Yeah. So the um so that's how video has made a big huge difference, and I know a lot of us are all in your group learning how to use video to those advantages. And I have to say that has been instrumental that you've taught me how to become a better speaker on camera. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm, uh, it's, it's so cool that you bring that up, Tammy, because I'm, we're, I'm changing the way that, that I do things inside this, inside the Facebook group. And it is going to be less about just getting on camera. And it's more about the things that you're talking about. It's how, how do you just be better on video in general and all the different mm -hmm. ways, shape and forms that we use video. Um, so if anybody is, is not already part of the go live league or in, in my world, I would love to book a coffee chat with you and talk about how I can help you make better videos because uh, it's, do it. it's cool. It's cool to hear Tammy. Tammy's I'm a product of you. I'm it. a product of you. I would not be doing this today if it wasn't love for it. your, your group and your expertise and giving us that, that confidence level of getting on camera. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. It's all true. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about this first. Uh, we're going to shift and we're going to get into um, self-publishing and Amazon and other things. Um, I, I introduced you as the co-founder of Book Hackers. So let's start there. What What is a book hacker? What, what does book hackers mean? Like, I love it, but I don't know what it means. So tell us what it means. Right. Yeah. So the Book Hackers is a self-publishing um, publisher who is growing their business by creating books that provide value for their target audience while building a sustainable business. I have my little notes going too, so I got to be prepared. <laughs> Because Jamie taught me to have notes just in case, right? Just in case. Um, okay. So, so say that one more time for me because I want to break it down. A book hacker is the, what's the definition? So the book hacker is, is a self-publisher who is growing their business by creating books that provide value for their target audience while building a sustainable business. And that's why we created the book hackers. Jamie's going to introduce, I have yeah. a business partner too named Cindy, but we created that book book hackers club because people were creating books that weren't selling and they didn't know why. So we created the book hackers to build a business around selling books. Kind of like what you're doing here. It's like, yes, camera work is important, but how do you use all the different ways to produce a book, sell a book and all those things. And we're gonna talk more about that. Yeah. Because just because I, I, I dream of having a book, even if, even if I put together a book, that doesn't mean it's not, it's going to sell. And so it's, it's, all the other parts and pieces the around marketing. Yeah. The, I mean, besides getting the book out there, that's a huge step in itself, like creating the book covers, all those things, yeah. but actually um, selling the book. And I'm going to just talk about that more, but selling the book is a huge factor that everybody has that, that dream, but the, the, the marketing of the book doesn't happen. Yeah. And we hear it day in and day out. And that's what the book hackers is about to take your, you know, whether you just want to learn how to create a book, but take it even further to, marketing your book, making money. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, yeah. the dream is, you know, to do all those things of, you know, I'm going to go more into, so I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but you know, to get, to get your book published and then to sell your book. Yeah. And, and I, and I, and I think the dream is, you know, who doesn't want to be a best selling author? Like that's right. That's so let me ask you this question. When you, <clears throat> when we're talking about books, like mm -hmm. my first thought is I'm going to write a novel. Right. Or, or, or maybe I think I'm going to tell my story and it's going to be a, a biography. Right. Right. But publishing a book can be way more than that. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So what kind of books are we talking about? So we are talking about literature books at some points. And that's mostly what I hear when I talk to people is they always ask me, I want to write this book. And it's always usually a literature book, biography or whatever. But I'm going to open your eyes beyond writing a literature book. I want you to start thinking about books that will help your business. So this is book. This, this is going to be a little different than just a literature book. Cause we, I know I'm talking to a lot of business owners and a literature book is fantastic to write and do, but a lot of times people skip the part, especially in uh, business owners that they can create. Uh, let's give an example, workbooks for a course. 
informational guides in your expertise. So we're all business owners and we're, you know, you want to give information, you want to create a booklet or a book for your expertise. Maybe you want to generate a lead magnet booklet. So you're thinking like, I need something to get my clients to come to me and they call, they, we call these lead magnets and you create a lead magnet booklet or book. You can create planners. You think of notebooks, journals, puzzle books, cookbooks, coloring books. And of course, like I said, literature books can always be written as a self-publisher. So it doesn't just have to be a biography or a literature book. It can be multiple types of books like these that I just described. Well, you had me at notebook because I happen to have a stack of notebooks that I have procured <laughs> that have not been used. Tell me I'm not alone here, you guys that are watching. I mean, it's it's addicting to consume and just <laughs> purchase workbooks. I even have a workbook that I've had for like, I don't know, 20 years that mm -hmm. I haven't written in yet because it's nothing has been worthy enough to write. It's just like, it's a special one. It's your yeah, special it's notebook. It's so special. Right. But, so pretty. <laughs> but, but so when you talk about that, you're talking about what is it that I'm doing in my business and how do I create and publish a book that helps my clients? Correct. That, like I, I, my first thought goes to, in fact, Sandy just put it in text. Sandy is working on her first journal self-publishing. Yes. Yeah. That's a perfect example of exactly. a way to do what, exactly what we're talking about. So when you talk about, yes, that is our, that's right. Congratulations to Sandy. First of all, that is so yes. awesome. yeah, good job, Sandy. Um, and you guys are absolutely feeding my love of notebooks and <laughs> journals and oh, yeah. books Everyone... and all of this kind of stuff. See, I love it. You guys are the best. <laughs> I know I'm just not alone here. Um, okay. So let's talk about publishing on Amazon. Like that seems daunting to me. How, how, right. What is all involved? Give us, give us what you can. And I know you could, like we said earlier, we could talk for three hours on this, but give us like a glimpse of what's, what are we talking about here? Yeah. So first of all, yes, congratulations, Sandy and notebooks. I want to, before we go into the Amazon side of it, I wanted to point out one thing until we move before I move forward is so your notebooks, your lead magnets, all these things, they're going to become your um, you can put your logos on them, contact information. So think of them as the lead magnet anyway, if it's a notebook uh, plan or anything like that. So I just wanted to point that out to anyone who's writing that. And you can make also, these your branded book. And I'm going to talk more about that too. Like even if you, ha if you, if you have a course, this could be the workbook that goes with the course and, and let yes. Amazon yes. fulfill and ship them out to whoever buys your yes. course. Yeah. And I'll get into that too. Okay. Um, I'm so excited. Well, I'm jumping ahead. I can't I know. help myself. And then, okay. um, Later on, get onto our email because we're going to do a workshop on creating workbooks for okay. your course. Okay. So we'll talk about that later. Okay. Keep okay. Let's go to, so Amazon. If you're not familiar, Amazon offers a book printing and publishing service. And most people didn't, most people I know that aren't, you know, any involved in any of the publishing don't really know Amazon does this. And it's called KDP. And what that means is it's called Kindle Direct Publishing. And this is where you can get your books printed in a variety of sizes, both in hardcover and softcover options, and either in black and white ink or color ink, I should say, black, white, or color ink on white paper or cream. And at this point, unfortunately, uh, Amazon does not publish in a spiral bound. This is, always comes up, and I just wanted to show you that, you know, point that out. Spiral bound books, they do not do at this point but they do the hard and the soft covers. And, um, but there are other self uh, publishing services like Ingram Spark and Lulu. And you also have your traditional publishing houses that may be able to fill that need. So I didn't want to, you know, everyone that's a, the first thing they ask is, can they do a spiral? And they don't, but I'm going to tell you more about the benefits of Amazon. The benefits of publishing through Amazon's KDP is that it's free to sign up. They are, they have a worldwide reach, which means you can get the books to your customers or you, you know, wherever you're living, you can get the books pretty much worldwide and you're able to buy, this is huge, listen up, huge, one book at a time. And that is called print on demand. So POD is what the word, you know, acronym we use a lot is so print on demand means you can buy from Amazon one book at a time. Now, if you go to more of a traditional printer, you can only, the, the least books I've seen is 25, mostly about 200 books printed at a time. 
The other thing that Amazon does that is, is huge is if there's anything you wanted to update or change, you can automatically update that and change it right in your KDP account. It's called a bookshelf. You can update that. Now, if you go to a traditional printer and there's a mistake, you may have 200 books sitting there that have these mistakes. So I recommend if you're writing any books, go out and, 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 and have it up on Amazon and make sure the printing is all is written well. It's everything you wanted it to be before you go to a traditional um, printer, because that'll save you a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of headache. So the benefit is you can buy one book at a time. The prices are very competitive and their shipping, as we know, is incredibly fast. Two days with Amazon Prime. So, yes, it has a lot of benefits that people don't realize. I work with a lot of customers and create books. And the one thing that I find is everybody wants to go maybe to a traditional printer and I have publisher or printer. I have no problem with that. But I always recommend start out on your Amazon KDP. It'll save you time and money from any mistakes. It's kind of like your your little playground to make sure it's all the way you wanted that booklet written. And and, and even if it's not errors, it, it's updates. I mean, updates. I, yeah. I know for me, and I'm sure this is true for uh, many of the folks turning in, th tuning in, things change, mm -hmm. links change, information changes. You may change the way you p position yeah. something inside a course or change a prompt on a journal. And how nice is that? Say so you uh, don't like those brand colors anymore. You can change the cover yeah, too. Like that. Um, you can have and you don't have to have, you don't, you can buy one book at a time. You could buy 20. There's an um, author's copies, which you can buy at a little less of a price, but I don't want to dive into that. That's a little yeah. more complicated, yeah. but you can make these changes. And I highly suggest doing that is use Amazon's KDP, especially, you know, it's just a great way to get your book out there. And then as it, as it's doing well, or you want to go on, you can move on to yeah. a publishing house. It's no big yeah. deal. Yeah, to get some success without putting forth a whole lot of money. Yeah, because it's thousands of dollars. Thousands, thousands yeah. and thousands. There's probably, you know, say three to five, just minimally. And then, and the same with the spiral. I've taken a customer wanted a spiral bound book and I went out to traditional. Again, I had to buy 200 books to get a better price. And so she has 200 books and she did make, she did have some things that she wanted to update and she couldn't do it. And yeah. we had, could do it on Amazon, so we did that. Okay. So I know we were going to talk about this later, but since you brought it up, I'm going to go there anyway. So you're in your business. If, if anybody wants to do this, you can help them find the right way to publish. Yes. And, and I know you've got a secondary business as well. Yes. Do you want to talk, do you want to touch on that right now? Just a little bit? Sure. Um, <laughs> so I know I'm going out of order, but I figured out of my like order, but that's okay. That's yeah. great. Um, yeah. So, so I have the book hackers club. And the Book Hackers Club is about, you know, helping you, you know, get the whole book up on Amazon. You can get it up on, you know, uh, help you with creating that business for you. How do you market the books? There's a whole bunch of descriptions you got to write. But personally, I started out in KDP and I was doing the books and um, creating a journal. I created a, a line journal and it, my book wasn't selling. And I was really disappointed and so um, I started thinking about what if I could reach out to business owners. So I've been in business since I was 22. Um, so I had a brick and mortar before I started this business. And I thought, what if I could reach out to the business owners and create branded booklets for them? So as you can see up here, I got a lot of them. I got this, take this one for like a gym booklet and create a branded booklet for a gym and um, under my KDP account, and then I make a royalty every time I sell a book and I get a setup fee every time I create a book. So it's another side business as well. Is that what you wanted me to talk about? A yeah, bit, I just think, okay. I think the cool thing here is, it, it, you know, uh, you can, you can, obviously you can figure out how to use Amazon by yourself, but, mm -hmm. or, yeah. and I know we're going to, we're going to go there here shortly about joining book hackers to learn how to do all of that. Yes. But another avenue is to connect with you personally and say, okay, help me. How do I, how do I even begin to do this or how yeah, do I, so I have yeah. many ways to help you. So there's a lot of, um, lanes you can take. There's a lot of ways, like we were saying, if you want to do a literature book, I have people that I, okay. that actually are experts in that field. Cause you need editing, you need layouts, you need all kinds of stuff. So, you know, definitely use me as your resource. I'm happy to, you know, share my resources with you. I have a guy who that's what his business is. Mine is more towards, um, you know, log books 
guidebooks, informational books for the businesses like yourself, but also to teach you either if you want to do them or if you want us to do them. There's yeah. either way. Options. You got options is what you, you got saying. options. So even, you know, just reach out to Jamie. I'm in Jamie's groups. You can always reach out, tag me and ask me those questions about how, you know, how would this work? Because there's many um, avenues you can take. Yeah, so it's, many. And I can't do it in a half hour. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even I'm drinking my energy drink, but I can't do that. <laughs> um, I wanted to put this comment up, which is a, you can always, if, if you, if somebody, if your client want, buys your book and it's a booklet and they want it spiral bound, you, they could take that to a local office store and have it put into a spiral bound easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are workarounds if, this yeah, and, it, yeah, you know, reach out to me too. Cause I do have uh, printers that do this. And I found that say um, other places that like the local office supply houses, they're a lot more expensive per book. Uh -huh. So you got to look at your prices too. Um, I know a lot of different uh, places do that, but it depends what you're using the book for. That's why it's, it's always a you know, so many ways you can go. So reach out to me, let me know. And I can point you in the right direction. Cause I know I've checked into printers and I've checked into local like office supply stores that do them and the pricing and Amazon. I mean, um, Costco's done them and the pricing. And I know all kinds of places that have uh, printing services, but you got to look at your prices per book. You got to look at um, the quality of the printing and Amazon, I have a lady I work with who has been in publishing for years and I taught her KDP. And so she's had color books, like very, like a guy was creating, you know, had a book of stones. So the colors had to be very brilliant. She said it was spot on and wow. she has experience in all printers. So it was nice to have that feedback because she had worked with printers and the color is very vibrant. The, the paper quality is really good. The ink is good. It's, it's, it's been working really well, well for people. And I think what I often think of, whether this is true or not, is I think Amazon's cheap. And so is the quality going to be cheap? So it's great right. to hear that the quality is fantastic. The quality we've had, we've, we've looked at all, all different types of books and compared outside and inside. And there, the Amazon has done a great job at printing. Um, so I know next I want to talk, let's get into it and talk about KDP and book hackers. Is there anything else you want to share about publishing in general before we go into the um, specifics? I, I, I took us out of order and I, I'm, I'm any, not, I can't even remember where we left off. That's right. I, do we have any like questions? I just want to make sure I was. Uh, I have not seen any questions yet. Okay. No. So you're okay, good. I just want to make sure it was yep. working for, I mean, I was covering things for everybody. So we can dive in a little deep okay. into the other. Um, so, you, you, so the first step is to set up a KDP account on Amazon. And is that like somebody said, somebody earlier said, here it is. Um, publishing on Amazon is pretty easy until they cancel you. <laughs> well, that's not good, Tammy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that is, that does happen. And, um, you know, there are ways, you know, you can, and you don't have to use Amazon. There are other print on demand services, but yes, when they cancel you, it's not fun, but you need to read the uh, terms and services. Always do that. Um, and you know, you can always reach out to them and try to get your account. If you're not doing anything, They've been changing it a little bit on low content books. So you, if they took your account away, you know, call them up, see if you can get it back, back okay. on, but it doesn't good, happen good. all the time, but it occasionally does. Good advice. Okay. So to set up a, a KDP account, I know I put the link up above this video. It, it, it's just a link and you just set up an account and it's easy, right? As easy mm -hmm. as it can be maybe. Yeah. So just go to your, I go to that Amazon link and you're going to be able to just follow the the prompts, the steps, and sign up for your case. It's free to sign up. And just follow, when you get to the link, just answer all the questions, and you'll have your KDP account set up. And it might take a little time for them to approve it and do everything, but uh, you will read all that in information. And I think this next question, I don't want to take us on a tangent around this whole cancel because now I've got everybody no. fired up. We're getting comments like, what happens when they cancel? But this is, I mean, this really sets up what you guys are all about with book hackers, right? Mm -hmm. Which is we're yeah. here to help you support, to support you on all of the things. So let's talk about book hackers first, and then we can come back to this. Part. Okay. Sounds great. So I have a club call with a partner of mine, Cindy Manier. We've created this club, like I said, to really not just get a book up on Amazon, on KDP or any other self 
publishing pro, um, you know, uh, platforms. But this book hackers is we do weekly self publishing strategy videos. So we do four of those a week on the topics of marketing, you got to know the keywords to put in so people can find your book. Because just because you put it on Amazon KDP does not mean it's going to sell it gets buried by a lot of books, a lot of people go, you know, and I, I'm I was did this too. I put like a journal up there think it was going to sell. And it got buried and nobody could find it. So that's why you have to really market your book. And we talk about the strategies in our book hackers club on that and also how to use now AI and how to write a book. So we talk about all things self publishing, all things on marketing, all things on keywords, descriptions, how to use the platforms and how to build a business around it. Like how to um, not only, but how do you set up your business? You know, how do you set up the self publishing business? Who are my target audience? What's, you know, what do I do? And then we also have, so we have those weekly uh, self published strategy videos for those a month and monthly mindset videos, just business mindset. I think we all need it. I think most people uh, just need to hear that it's, you know, build that confidence. We all sometimes get a little down on ourselves and monthly tools and resource spotlight videos. So that could be on, um, that could be on, I just did one on Linktree, how to use Linktree. So these are the the tools that we use and, and AI will be one of them and how we use them and show you how to use that in the um, monthly uh, tools and resource spotlight video. Then we also do a monthly Q&A chat with Cindy Manier and myself featuring a uh, book of the month. And we do a, a book of a quarter, I should say. And we talk about that and also any questions you have in the group. And we have access to a private Facebook group for you specifically as a self publisher. So you can join the book hackers club and do that and get that set up for yourself. Wow. And I put the link up above remind, I, and I think I put it, the price up there, but just, just so everybody's got it. How much does it cost a month to join the book hackers club? It is 37 okay. dollars a month. So if you're going to, if you're going the route of wanting to self publish $37 a month, <laughs> it's a no brainer. Uh, to learn how to do this and get the help and support, not just for getting published, but for all the marketing and all the other pieces that go around it. It's well, there's so a lot more to it. And we're going to talk about that in the VIP section today. Um, but it's going to be a lot more around the other steps. Like everybody gets excited about creating the books and the covers and the fonts and the this and, the, and, then, and then they get their books and then nothing happens. Cricket. And we hear it so much that, that we felt kind of, Sydney and I, my business partner, we felt so bad for everybody that they, you know, we got, they worked so hard with getting these books and nothing selling. And nothing. Oh, so mm -hmm. sad. So we, we are there to help you support you. We've been down the road. We've been doing this a long time, both of us. And we know how to, where to, you know, what the description should look like, you know, just, just how to get in front of your audience. And then mm -hmm. we use Jamie as, you know, her, her groups to help get in front of a camera. <laughs> That's you know, right. You, you know, because that's another part of it. Getting in front of the camera, talking to your people that you're giving the book to. Well, I think so often we just think if I, the hard part is just getting my book written, put it up there, then Amazon will take the rest. And that it is not true. It's buried. There's too many so books out many there anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Millions yeah. and millions of people that are it's trying not to that, It's not that you can't, but I'm just, I'm going to be very honest with you. We, you know, we get excited and I did the same thing. I created created this journal and I just thought it was going to sell and it didn't sell. It and it was like, I got one sale from my sister. So that is a bummer. Um, okay. I also know, and I know we're running short on time here, but you, you also have a course that's the KDP quick start course. So just I put the link up above for everybody. It, what, what, why, who would want that course? So this would be really great for everybody that I'm probably talking to, if you've not done KDP before and you just want to, you know, have the quick start, you don't want to um, try to, you can go on YouTube, you can go and search out, go onto Amazon KDP, look at everything, try to figure it out. But we've made it uh, a lot quicker for you to get all these steps. So it's step-by-step -step instructions for starting a self-publishing business. It's step-by-step -step instructions to setting up your KDP account. So if, you know, you don't want to do that on your own. It'll direct you right through that, this little course. Introduction to what a low content book is. Low content book could be these journals, planners, and all that. So we start out with just the low content books, but you can evolve as soon as you learn how to do all this, you can evolve it. Picking a niche. This is a big topic, picking a niche, because just because you create a planner, who is it directed to? And that's a lot of times no one knows. So they just 
thought unicorns would be cute and put it out there. And maybe unicorns are not as popular as they used to be. Creating an interior. So the interior book, you'll learn how to create that and publishing your book. And then there were seven other bonuses in this quick start course. So it just breaks everything down. We've done all the work for you. We've broken it all down so you can at least get a whole general idea of just what the platform's about and how to get all done. So if I'm, if I'm, if I, my mom used to say this all the time, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Tammy, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Start with the course, learn how to do KDP, join book club, book club, book, book hackers, book <laughs> hackers club to get the ongoing support that you need right. as you get going. I mean, it's like a one, two combo punch. Yeah. Cause we know we, I'm a business owner. You're everyone, you know, everyone I know we're talking to business owners. We don't have time. We don't want to no, be just. experts. We just want to know how to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Done, done, done. And so when, so we took all the information and condensed it down so that you can just get hit the road running. And then you want, if you want more support, that's where the book hackers club is all about. We're in there, you know, anything new that comes up, anything that's a discussion like AI right now is a huge discussion oh, yeah. for everybody, but it's like, how does this work for books? And that's what everyone wants to know. Okay. So, um, so you mentioned it earlier that you are going to do a VIP session for those that are in the Go Live League membership, yep. which is right after this. So for those of you that are in the membership, um, don't forget, we're going over to Zoom right after this call. <laughs> Tammy, what are you going to do with us in the VIP session? So in the VIP session, I'm going to um, basically unlock the, un the self-publishing success with what we call the ACE method, and that's audience, content, and eyes. And I'm going to go through that with you, and that'll give you some insight on before you start writing your book, what you need to do in the research that you need to do. And I know uh, there are a couple of questions. So if anybody else has questions for Tammy, I'm going to, um, now is the time to drop them. We'll take maybe a couple of questions. Okay. So Sherry's question is, does the group cover like price points for the books or how do I know what to, basically, how do I know what to sell my book for? Yeah, th that's definitely. And we, we, if we don't have it, um, the videos up there, cause you can get access to all the videos that we've done for a long time. Um, if this question has an answer for you, but we have the group, we can answer it for you. This is a, this is like a really great place for you in the Facebook group, especially is just to be asking like, Hey, how much do you think my book would, you know, market for? There's a lot of ways to figure it out. We can do, um, videos on this. It, you know, we just let, we let our, we let you tell us what you want. We don't just decide. Um, we, we've made decisions obviously, but we, we want you to tell us like, if you want the book pricing done, we'll figure, we, put videos together for you. So yes, we could do that definitely. In the group. And, and the nice thing is, I mean, obviously you get your advice from you and Cindy, but mm -hmm. you also get the advice of everybody else who's in book hackers that yeah. has already published or that are working on the same challenges. Because there's so yeah. many different yeah. styles of books. Like if you're talking about a planner, it could be this price. If you're talking about a literature book, it may be this, you know, there's a lot of factors and we, we pull all of our knowledge together. That's what I love about it is we're pulling everyone's knowledge together everybody has an, their expertise, like they can bring to the group. And that's what we wanted to have this place where we could all help each other build this business. There's enough business out there. I love it. Um, okay. I want, Tammy's going to have some homework for all of you on how to get started. We're going to, um, I'll, I'll give you a hint. You're going to set up an account on KDP, but uh, I'm going to let her elaborate on that a little bit. Um, what I want to do is just give you a quick heads up of what's coming on upcoming Beyond the Camera shows. So even though I am on vacation next week, don't forget I'm on vacation next week. Next Friday, um, we have, we pre-recorded it today, Jana and I, um, and it is all about sales and lead gen and why it is like totally okay to light traditional sales rules on fire. So anybody who's ever thought sales is icky and yucky, and I don't want to be in sales, you're going to want to tune in on Friday. And even though I'm on vacation, um, it will air at the same time as our normal show. So it'll be there Friday at one central for you to watch. Um, there is no VIP session with that one because I'm on vacation and it, we just couldn't figure out how to make it happen. Um, but I hope you will tune in and watch that show anyway, because Jana is... I'm, She's awesome. Um, and then on the 31st, um, one of my coaches, Lori Conkler, will be on and talk about the Facebook ecosystem. And I am I have heard her talk about this before, but every time she talks about it, I get a little bit more nugget. And this is how do you use your personal profile and your business page and your Facebook group and reels and all the parts and pieces? That's what we mean by Facebook ecosystem. How does it all come together so that you can get more results? Like, where do you put your focus? Um, and we she 
is doing a VIP session. She's got a content calculator for you guys. It's going to be, I'm so excited. I can't, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, this has been a really good month of good speakers, all content focused and related. Okay. So Tammy, if, mm -hmm. if someone is interested, mm -hmm. wh where, where do that, what do they do? What's the first step? What's, what's their homework, so to speak for the day? Well, today I would like them to at least get started by setting up their KDP account on Amazon. Like I said, it's free and if, or just buy the course, you know, buy the course and be done and get that quick start KDP course. That way we'll have all the information for you. If they're just like, I don't know how to get started. I don't know where to start. So basically get your free KDP account set up. That's your first thing. And the links up above. And I, it, is it as easy as you're making it sound like it should be, or is there, is there, yeah, a trick? there's no, it, it, it's just a, a matter of putting, you have to put in like some of your bank information okay. and things like that because you get royalties paid royalties. And they got to know where it goes. And, and, um, yeah. Okay. So be prepared with all your business stuff. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So have all that ready it, 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 and you can connect it with your other, if you have an account with Amazon already, there's ways to, to make it a lot easier. So it'll, it'll, it's very easy steps. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. Um, I've got, there's one more question that's come up, uh, not necessarily for Tammy, but I want to make sure to um, address it here just um, in case somebody's asking for the link and how do they get into the Zoom account for the VIP session? So what I will tell you is you have to be in the Go Live League membership. That's the perk or the privilege of being in the membership. Um, so those links, those Zoom links are only emailed out simply because you, you've paid for it. And so it's not a public link. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but I will, in between, as we're switching and moving over to Zoom, I will message it to you, Anna Maria, so that you've got it handy. If anybody else needs it, I'll take a minute to look at Messenger. Just send me a message and say, hey, I don't have the Zoom link. Um, for anybody that's on that's like, uh, how do I get part of this going forward? And obviously I can't make it happen fast enough to be on this one. You can get the recording. So if you join the Go Live League tomorrow or next week, um, all of the past VIP sessions are in there for you to watch. So, okay. Tammy, how do we close this? I mean, uh, this has been, we have done so much fun and I mean, I'm just fascinated by this topic, but what, like, what are your final thoughts for everybody? What, how would you send us off? How I would send you off is I'm going to give you like a small clip of one of my favorite quotes, my favorite quotes, and it's the man in the arena, or as I like to call it, the person in the arena by Theodore Roosevelt. It's not the critic who counts, it's the person in the arena. So don't let the critic stop you from writing your book. And I'm challenging you today to write that book. Okay, you heard it here. You have been challenged. Challenged, challenged. If you've ever wanted or dreamt of writing a book, like here's your opportunity to get start at a low cost and learn mm -hmm. as you go. Like there's, yeah, there's no cost to do, really right. there's no cost except to buy the book after you've done it. So you can, you don't have to have inventory. That's no. the beauty. So rather than spend your money on the inventory, spend your money on book hackers <laughs> and learn how to do this right. Because it's so much more than just, it'll just save you a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, lot so of time. much time. Um, all right, Tammy, thank you for being on my show thank today. Um, as always, you're just lovely and wonderful and full of information. And like, you make me believe like I could do this. Like I, I could, I have you no can. doubt that I, yeah, yeah. no doubt. No Love. doubt. And all of you can. It's, it's it really, you can. You can, for sure. Um, all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Those of you in the Go Live League, we'll see you over in Zoom, uh, maybe Bye, after everybody. a short one function bio break. And uh, everybody else, have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Not next week because I'm on vacation, but after Yay. that. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for listening.